Great to have you stopping in, as always. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and it's Wednesday, May 29th. Which means I should probably remind you of my live streaming event tomorrow. I do this every Thursday, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Me and my lovely co-host, we go on for about an hour and a half taking requests from people like you, investors. We're looking at stocks you want us to look at. I share stocks with you all week. This gives you a chance to share a hot penny stock with us. No, not me and Taylor, everybody. The more people that know about it, the more people can invest in it. So I'll go over the information, Taylor will cover the charts, and we'll give you our opinions, whatever that's worth to you. Now I gotta be fair and tell you, if you come to the show, and I do want you to show up, if you drop your ticker during the show, I'm never going to get to it. And the reason for that is I go by first come, first served, and I have to announce that I've got this video happening at the end of the day. So I post it earlier, around lunchtime. Well, people can start dropping their tickers in then. So by the time 4 o'clock rolls around, I've already got all the tickers I can handle. So if you really want your ticker looked at, get it in the queue early. Wherever you follow me, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, wherever, I'm going to drop an announcement there. Drop your ticker then. Guaranteed it'll get looked at. And that'll give me more time to go over the information for you. That's 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Thursdays, every Thursday. Now, you know what we do on this show. We like to focus in on a hot penny stock. I trade penny stocks every day. I am constantly looking for stocks under five bucks and you can find them on every single market. And because I got to give you a video at the end of the day, I'm looking for a hot penny stock that has potential to make us money that I can share with you. And I got one for us. This is Stargaze Entertainment Group, ticker STGZ. I'll be the first to admit she does not tick all the boxes I normally look for for a hot penny stock, but she's got enough of them and she's got something very curious. The company came out with news the other day and it was their first piece of news since last year. They've gotten involved in a merger and this merger is going to be a change of control and a change of operations and their new operations are very unique. I have not seen anything like this before and I think it could be very hot. The chart, when the news came out, took off. She jumped a couple hundred percent, came back down, landed on her nine-day SMA, and she is above her 200-day SMA on the four-hour chart, looking like she wants to continue to run. And I think she will. And that's why I'm sharing it with you. So Stargaze took her STGZ. She finished the day at 0085, and she was up almost 20% today. Now, she is on the bottom tier of the OTC, the pinks, the riskiest tier. It is the riskiest because of the lack of information, specifically validated information. Normally, the only validated information you get with pinks are these two green ticks that I'm always harping to you about, and that's why I harp. It's the only validated information most pinks have. Now, pinks can opt to do SEC reporting. They could go to 10Ks and 10Qs, get a CPA in there and audit all their numbers. Most of them don't. We get what's called disclosures. These are just numbers passed off to us by the management. There's been no accounting done to them. Basically, you got to take management's word for everything on the pinks, except for these two green ticks. These are verified by the OTC markets, a non-biased third party. So this is the best we're going to get with most pinks. So what is Stargaze Entertainment Group about? Well, as I said, they've got a change of operations right now. So what they used to do, they're not doing anymore. So before we look at the stock and the volume and all that, let's take a look at the news so that you can see what the company is doing. Now, the first thing you need to know about this company is that they've got a bad habit of getting into deals, getting into mergers, and then backing out of them. We have got two of them in the last three years. Back in February of 2022, the company announced a letter of intent to merge with HealthPoint Plus. Four months later, the company announced the cancellation of that merger. Then in May of 2023, the company announced a letter of intent to merge with Vector Horizontal Resources. One month later, they canceled that merger. Hmm. Now we've got another piece of news. This is the first piece of news for 2024. SceneBot Inc. acquires controlling interest in Stargaze. The news tells us that on May 23rd, 
the company announced that SceneBot had acquired controlling interest in the company. SceneBot purchased 25 million shares and 2.5 million preferred shares of the company from the controlling shareholder, Tony Green Organization, also known as TGO. The shares purchased from TGO give SceneBot voting control of the company. They're now in charge. The company also entered into a debt settlement agreement with TGO to settle all outstanding debt owed by the company. So they have no debt. It's a clean slate now. SceneBot is currently refining its plans for future operations of the company and will announce those plans when they are finalized. So what exactly is SceneBot about? Well, we're going to come at this in a very strange way, but I think it's the easiest way to understand what they're doing here. They have got a social media app that works with acting. We have Agba and Triller coming together. That's a social media app, Triller, working with music. So people can make music videos and do lip syncing and stuff. Well, this is working with acting, which is going to be made available to Hollywood. It's going to be made available to talent agencies and managers and producers. SceneBot is an app and a website that allows actors to access audition material and upload their audition to be posted for casting professionals to select the best auditions to be posted to the app and website for review by industry agents, managers, and casting directors. Who sees these videos? Monthly auditions chosen as honorable mentions and top selects are posted to the site for all members, both actors and industry professionals to view. Is it possible to be contacted by agents, managers, casting directors and such from this app? Yes. All of the agents, managers and casting directors listed in our industry directory have access to all of our honorable mentions and top selects via the app and website. They also receive a direct link to the top 10 each month. The industry professionals are then able to access actor profiles and message the actors directly. Is there an age limit? Nope. Anybody can apply, but if you're under 13 years old, you've got to get your parents' permission. Now, here's what's great about it. It's free. Of course it's free. Look, the company has got an app. They could charge us a few measly dollars to get into this thing, or they could get their piece of pie from the big side of the coin, from the talent agencies, from Hollywood. How much do you think they'd be willing to pay finding a strong actor or actress? So it's free for us. Though they do say they've got a premium program that costs a dollar a month. Uh, with this, you get a few extra perks. Your home page will be included in our searchable industry database every day. You don't have to have an honorable mention or be in the top 10. You will have access to six scenes each month. And this is the most important part. You will get professional feedback on all of your monthly auditions with tips and advice on what you need to work on to improve your skills. That's worth a lot. A dollar a month? Come on, folks. That's a great deal. Now let's focus in a little bit on this. What they do is they have pre-written scripts already for these people. Anybody comes, they have what they call act back track. This is the ABT. This is what they tell us about it. Many of the scene bot original audition scripts include pre-recorded lines of dialogue performed by celebrity actors. SceneBot users can then perform their lines with a professional actor as their scene partner. All they have to do is rehearse their scene, adjust the timing between the lines, and then record their performance opposite their celebrity scene partner. It's just that easy. And because SceneBot has the support of Hollywood acting community, celebrities have come out in droves to lend their talents. The Act Backtrack features features some of today's hottest stars like iCarly's Jerry Trainer, comedian Orlando Jones, and Christy Metz of the hit NBC show. And a little more information, they tell us in just one year, SceneBot has gained support of film and television professionals becoming an important industry tool for over 125 highly regarded agents managers, and casting directors who use SceneBot daily to scout talent, not just in LA and New York, 
but all around the world. And that's the big deal here. You don't have to go to Los Angeles to do your audition. You don't have to go to Los Angeles to talk to your casting director or your talent uh, agency. They will talk to you online. So you can do everything online until you cut that deal. It's clear SceneBot is shaping up to be the go-to for the industry. To date, over 500 users have been contacted by agents and managers for possible representation, have been considered by casting directors for major feature films and television shows, or have been seen via free events like SceneBot Study Hall and Feedback. So that's what they do, folks. They've got an app that you're going to plug into. They've already got scenes scripted out. You'll get your lines. You're going to see the other person doing their lines. You get to practice as many times as you want and then record it. You're going to submit it. The top 10 and the honorable mentions are going to actually be forwarded to these agents, to all these producers. It is put in their face. They are also put online so that other people can vote on you. And that's a big thing. Votes count. This has a lot to do with who these talent agencies, managers, and producers look at. So I think this is hot. Everybody wants to get into the limelight, and considering it's free, it opens up the door for anybody to try it. I'm thinking this is unique. I'm thinking there's no competition. I'm thinking we ought to be looking at it, and that's why I'm sharing it with you. All right, now that we got an idea what the company does, let's go take a look at that stock. So what was the relative volume around the company today? Oh boy, what a drop. All right, she has been under the radar, I guess you could say. When you're on the OTC, it's tough to say what volume is under the radar. But she's been doing an average of about 129,000 shares a day over the last 30 days. Today, she just did 6,400 shares. Now, when I see volume like that, I always get curious. So I ran over here to Yahoo Finance, put in Stargaze Entertainment Group, hit the historical data button, and this brings up information for every single day the company's been on the market. You can see what she opened at, closed at, what her highs and lows were on those days. You can also see the volume for every single day. So you can see two days ago when she took off running on the news, we had 1.2 million. Yesterday, or yeah, I guess it would be yesterday, we had just a little over a half a million. And then look at that drop. What a huge drop. But look, the day before the huge run, we had 800 shares. And then the day before that, 845,000. So as you can see, our volume is all over the place. Some days she isn't even getting any trading, but you got to remember the news came out right here. Everything before this, we hadn't had any filings or news since 2023. So there was really no reason for it to be doing anything. Now she's got a reason and it is volatile. That's what you see here. The volume going from virtually nothing to over a million back down to virtually nothing. That's volatility. And it's hard to play a stock like that. You know, it's hard to tell which way the water is going to squirt unless you can see the water coming out. That gives you an idea. When the volume's turned off, you have no idea where that stock is going to move. So reading the chart can be tricky. So what is the relative, no relative, what is the share structure of this company? Well, that's not bad. Outstanding share count, we got about 124 million. They tell us the insiders own about 52 million of them, the exact same shares we own, and we get about 71 million of them. Now, that's not a super low float or anything like that. But as far as I'm concerned, anytime you have a float under 100 million, you've got a decent float. So we've got a decent float. Market cap is really low. Goodness gracious, we're not even at a million dollars here. Financials, are we making any money? Nothing on the annuals. Nothing on the quarterlies. Oh boy. Balance sheet. Oh, we got nothing in the bank. We have no current assets. Uh, we have 600 in intangible assets, which gives us $601,000 in assets. We know it's thousands because we've got to add three zeros to any of the numbers down here. Liabilities. Whew, thought they were going to be higher. They're only 288,000. 
So we should have positive stockholder equity of $313,000. It isn't much, but we're not holding a bag here. So, you know, honestly, to me, it looks like it was more of a shell company that wasn't doing anything. They weren't marked as a shell company. They weren't marked as a shell risk, but I don't see any business, don't see any revenues, assets, liabilities. It's like they're a clean slate and this company just took it over. So it's a brand new company coming in with a brand new product that we have never seen before. Disclosures, what do we got down here? We have nothing, none, and our financials are all caught up. Everything is there. So everything looks good from this vantage point. The only thing we've got is that news about this merger. SceneBot coming onto the scene with an app where we can all audition for Hollywood. Sounds exciting to me. Let's go take a look at that chart now. Revved and raring to go. We're going to chart stargaze on my free trading platform, Think or Swim. This is ticker STGZ. Now I've got this opened up to a two year, one day chart because I needed some supports and resistances. I couldn't get them on any other lower time frame charts. So we've got three resistances now. One at about 1.6 cents, next one at 2.3, and the top one here is at 3.1 cents. Now she has been depressed over these last two years, but for most of the time, she's been flat this last year, not doing anything, waiting on that 200 day SMA to get closer and closer. She started jumping and bumping here, but you can see we have had a breakout here just recently. And all of our oscillators are on fire, except for the RSI. It was blazing, it came down really hard, but right now it is actually starting to climb again. Let's come on down to our one day, one year chart. So we've still got a downtrend here, a serious one. And you can see why I couldn't get my supports and resistances off of this chart. There's just not a lot there to work with. Once she hit this low bubble, she quit falling. That is a change of trend. She is definitely going sideways month after month after month, giving this 200 day haul time to turn around and come up underneath her so that she could bounce off of it. You see that? So then she got back to her 50 and the news came out and she launched. She went here from about double zero five up to single zero one five. That's about a 300% run before she fell back down here to about double zero eight five, which is still above the 200 day SMA and on top of her nine day SMA. Everything is actually looking pretty decent right now. Oscillators are a lot like the three year. They are all climbing real strong. RSI was ripping, had a big strong dip, but right now it is climbing. It is pushing up again. Take a look at our four hour, six month view. Well, we've definitely had a change of trend here. She was coming down hard. Right here, she started to level off some more. This is when we had our breakout attempts, when our 200 started to level out. And right now, folks, at this very moment from yesterday to today, she has gotten flat. And this is when we had our biggest breakout. Yes, the news came out. Nice synchronization. But you can see, as that 200 day SMA levels off, the price would easily get up on top of it and then start to work on top. It doesn't want to get underneath anymore. Once the 200 starts to turn up with all these other SMAs, the price is going to want to start to climb again. Everything looks good here. Our volume is getting stronger and stronger. SMAs are all climbing. It's looking picture perfect. Osculators. Our PPO, percentage price oscillator, still climbing like our MACD, though they've taken a little bit of cooling off here. We got some red bars, but they're not in any danger zone. Now our RSI is actually falling. Not hard, not fast, but it is dipping right now. You can see we are sitting, sitting solidly on our nine day SMA, which is a good place to be sitting. To me, that says that was a controlled fall. She didn't even come down under it and back up, just landed right on it. Take a look at our one hour, 20 day view. Well, that's completely different. We have no downtrend at all. Now we got a low bubble here of two. No, that's double zero two seven E gads double zero two seven. And then she hit this high of single zero one five. So you're looking at about, whoa, whoa, that is like 500% run right there. That's going from three to 15. 
take away all the zeros, round it up the, li the little bit we need to, you're going from 3 to 15. That was a 500% run from the 15th to the 24th, counting the weekend in the middle. She came back down, pierced that 50-day SMA, bounced right back up to her 9-day, which tells me she's still climbing. She did. She kept pushing up. She got right up near that high again, and then she came back down. But she is bouncing off of the 50. Not even really. She's floating over top of it in her bounces. And then she landed on the 20-day SMA. I like the chart. I don't like the oscillators. Every single oscillator is coming down right now. Every single one is pushing down. Red bar is accumulating. That doesn't look real good. Take a look at our five-day, five-minute. Okay, what do we got here? We had a nice serious climb. She started here at 005 and got up to that single 015. That was a 300% run over those last couple of days. Look at that. There's our high bubble in one bar. There's our low bubble. Same bar. E, geez. She went from 0043 up to single 0149. That one bar. It's 300%. Oh my God, that's volatility, folks. So she got back up on her 20, which is where she's really showing us. She likes to lay most of the time. She's climbed. She came back down. That was scary. I would have thought she'd continue to fall. She didn't. She bounced back up onto the 20, got back up on the 9, and here she goes again, falling. But we've got some saving grace coming into the picture. That 50-day SMA just came into the picture. Now, I think had this not come in, this would have continued falling. Now, it doesn't look very promising right now. The chart looks like it's still falling, and it very well could. But what I see happen a lot, when a new SMA comes onto the board, the price gravitates to it. doesn't matter if the price is above it or below it. It goes to that new SMA. Now, I'm not saying it stays there. A lot of times it goes right back to what it was it was doing. But a lot of times it does stick there. So we've seen it come back, and now she's pulling away. We got some iffy questions at this very, very moment. Oscillators stink. They stink. Our PPO is coming down. Our ADX is coming up. Now, we don't talk about the ADX too often. I like to nickname this trend continuation. All it is about is a straight line. Whenever you have a straight line, it tells you that your trend on the board is continuing right here. You can see if we go straight up, this is when she started climbing. We had a straight line. The line bent right there. Look up. That's when she quit climbing. She didn't fall. She just went sideways. But that's what happens. Every time your trend changes, your line changes. Well, I know this pattern. When my PPO is coming down and my ADX is coming up and they're coming closer and closer together, guaranteed 100% your price is falling. And it works exactly the opposite. If my PPO is going up and my ADX is going down and they're getting further and further apart, 100% guaranteed your stock is rising. So right now, every oscillator and the chart says she is falling. Where would she come down to? Probably right around this area, eh? We're looking at about uh, 0069, just over the 7 mark. You can see that's where, where she hit once. She was there for a long time. If she's going to bounce, I would think she would bounce right here and then start to climb again, especially with our new 50-day SMA coming on the board. But as I showed you, her volume is wacky. It's off the board. Some days she doesn't sell anything. Some days it's over a million. Some days it's barely anything. But now she's got a reason to run. We've got a product here that I've never seen before. Auditions. Getting your name in Hollywood without ever leaving your house. You know how many people are going to want to do that? Now, of course, when you think about it, they're not making any money off of us. But Facebook didn't make any money off of us. They made all their money off of advertising. This company, it looks to me they're going to make all their money off of Hollywood paying them for any stars that they find over here. And I don't know how they're getting paid. That's going to require some more due diligence if they even tell you. But it's worth looking into. I like what's setting up right now, folks. Chart isn't the best, but I see a lot of potential with the news being fresh, a hot product, and the chart having volatility. It's one to watch.
but do your own due diligence. I'm sure there's more to know. Remember, folks, the more you know, ow, the more you're going to grow. <laughs> See you, folks. Ow.